we are so close to Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse that you can almost taste it. And if you, in fact, can almost taste it, uh, go visit your doctor, because that's not right. And while you're in there, check for Uncle Avi Arad, because he might be getting his brain checked out, considering he's been proven wrong in regards to Spider-Man multiple times the last decade. Especially when it comes to this film, because the box office tracking shows that Sony was absolutely clueless when it came to the first film. Spider-Verse 1 came out sandwiched between mega blockbuster hits, and Sony decided to put literally no advertising behind it. So when the film came out and didn't do as good as everybody thought it was going to, everybody looked at Sony, who decided to take three times the amount of budget that they spent on marketing Spider-Verse and put it on the Emoji Movie. So, um, yeah, Abby Arad was one of the people behind this. So, uh, surprise, surprise, now that there's marketing in full swing for the upcoming sequel, that we're seeing good numbers. Just how good? Well, the original opened up with $35 million. Okay, that's not bad for three days. The sequel is tracking for $85 million. Just so we are clear on this, this film has the potential of making more than the entire first film in the United States in just its opening weekend. Now imagine the rest of the world. Imagine all the Marvel branding and marketing power that's been behind this, that's pushing it, and Sony putting in an effort. This shows you that maybe they shouldn't have screwed over the first film, but hey, um, you know, Sony being Sony. This honestly tells me, with this type of number, that this thing is going to be a hit. Now, again, there could be a couple things that go wrong with it between now and the release date. Reviews are a big factor. Also, uh, perception, uh, I guess superhero fatigue can be brought in. A stacked summer is also pretty important because June is June is absolutely insane. I still don't... Look, I don't even know how I'm going to see all these films, all right? Just in June alone, we got Spider-Man, Transformers, Flash. I mean, it's big. And there's other films out as well that I'm not even talking about here. So it'll be interesting but let's hope that this film hits as heavy as predictions are saying and maintains uh, momentum and has legs because if it does we're in for a ride with the spider-verse